Welcome back to Let's Get Cooking. Today I am back in the kitchen, but I'm baking. I am making this amazing banana bread. You guys want to try this. But first, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get ready to bake. For this simply amazing banana bread, I'm using, of course, three ripe bananas. You want to make sure your bananas are ripe. Some sugar, brown sugar, flour, two eggs, optional chocolate chips, semi-sweet, a stick of butter, and a half a cup of sour cream, baking powder, and baking soda. Let's get started. Okay, I want to start off by just clearing everything out the way. First things first, I'm going to mash my bananas just in this bowl. I'm going to use a fork because they're so ripe. They're soft enough to just mash with a fork. And it'll take a couple minutes, a little bit of arm strength, but this is a very easy process. So I'm going to mash it with a fork and you can see how it turns out. Okay, my bananas have been mashed well. This is what you want it to look like. This is basically the banana filling that's gonna go into the bread. Next, I'm starting off with my dry ingredients in a separate bowl. I have one and a half cups of flour. I'm adding one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of salt. And I'm just gonna give that a good stir. Wanna stir it well, just to make sure everything is combined evenly evenly distributed but that only take a couple seconds to a minute and then once I'm finished mixing the dry ingredients I'm gonna set those to the side and get one more larger bowl to mix the wet ingredients and to mix everything in this is such an easy recipe and it's so so good okay my bowl is ready First off, I'm going to put in my stick of butter, and that's a room temperature stick of butter. Always want to have soft room temperature ingredients when you're baking. If you take the stick out the refrigerator and you kind of need to soften it, soften it in a short period of time, just toss it in the microwave on defrost for about 30 seconds. I'm going to first start off by just mixing my butter real quick. And then I'm gonna add in both the brown sugar and the regular sugar to that and mix well. Okay, now that everything's in the bowl, we're gonna let this mix for just about a minute or two. Unlike pound cakes, when you're making a pound cake, you wanna mix your butter and your sugar for at least five, seven to 10 minutes. But for this banana bread, we only need to mix it for about a minute or two. And then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. And coming up next, we're going to add in the sour cream. We're going to add in it's a half a cup of sour cream, two eggs, teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm going to add in that banana filling, those mashed bananas that we um, that I mashed at the beginning of the video. So there goes the sour cream and that's a half a cup. You can use um, regular sour cream or today for this recipe, I'm using light sour cream but um, both work well. But your regular sour cream is just gonna be a little bit richer, a little bit more fat. Then it's a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm adding in that those three bananas that were mashed up well. And then the two eggs. And I'm just gonna mix everything. Or should I say the two eggs are coming out? This recipe probably only takes about a good 15 minutes to put, put together and um, put in the oven. And the oven, you want to preheat the oven to about 340 degrees. Okay, now we're adding those room temperature eggs. Once again, when we're baking, we like to have all our ingredients room temperature because it just makes for um, a better outcome. 
Okay, now that my wet ingredients are all combined in the bowl, I want to take those dry ingredients that I mixed at the beginning of the video and just add them in the bowl. Using my hand mixer, I will mix those briefly just for about a minute. Then I want to finish it off with a spatula because I don't want to over mix um, the batter. And this banana bread can be made. The great thing about banana bread is generally, if you like bananas, you tend to have bananas in your house on maybe a weekly or monthly basis. If you don't eat all the bananas, they tend to ripen up. And this is a great, let's repurpose those ripened bananas and bake with them. That's the best way. And also take ripe bananas and put them in smoothies. That's another great way to use ripe bananas. But they have to be very ripe. Um, in order to make delicious banana bread or banana muffins or banana cake. You want ripe bananas because that's where the sweetness comes out and extracts in that ripe, ripe banana. Okay, so I mixed everything up. And as you see, now I'm just finishing my mix with the spatula briefly for about another couple of seconds. And there's the batter. That is the banana bread batter right there. Okay, the banana bread batter is ready for the oven. I'm using a mini loaf pan today. If you have just a standard loaf pan, you can absolutely put it in there. But I'm using the mini loaf pan and I'm just going to fill these up halfway to use up all my batter. And then I'm going to add a few little treats to um, each of the little mini loaves. And this is why I love mini loaf pans because they're very versatile. You can, they don't all have to be the same. So for a couple of loaves, I'm going to add semi-sweet chocolate chips. Let me tell y'all, that is delicious. When you add in those semi-sweet chocolate chips, I don't recommend milk chocolate, but semi-sweet chocolate. Also, we like banana nut bread. So for those of us that can have nuts, you can add in some pecans or some walnuts. And then I'm going to leave one with nothing in it so it's just straight banana nut bread so i have banana nut bread i have banana chocolate chip bread and then i have a plain banana bread going into the oven since these are mini loaves it's going to go into the oven at 340 degrees for only about 25 to 30 minutes that's what i love about these also they don't take long at all Can somebody say fresh out the oven, hot and ready to eat banana bread? Oh my goodness, it smells so good. First of all, the aroma in the kitchen is awesome. But these loaves are just warm and ready. Now with banana bread, you can take them right out, cut your slice, get some coffee, get whatever you like to go with it. And they're ready to eat. They don't have to really wait to cool or anything like that. We're not putting no icing or nothing on them. They are immediately out the oven, ready to go. You might want to cool them for about five minutes. Otherwise, they are ready. So I just took them out the pan, putting them on my little cookie rack. And from there, I usually wrap each one up individually. But they don't last long. Let me tell you, in my house, <laughs> these go very quickly. But they are the perfect treat. This is a one of the best banana bread recipes i've ever made so make sure you try it out let me know how it turns out let me know you know what's your favorite thing about banana bread thanks for coming to the kitchen thanks for cooking with me as always have a blessed day and a blessed week remember to subscribe 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 like and share share with at least 